What a dandy looming there. And now Jefferson on a play fake. He wants to air it out. Got a man. Touchdown. He waited to the last possible second before Paige Moss got to him. But Ruben Randall getting downfield. And this is what Tiger fans want to see from him. The sophomore at 6'4", 207 pounds. When Gary Croton, the offensive coordinator, telling Brent and I yesterday, he's going to feel things out the first three or four series with all the new personnel. Jefferson, Randall, no first down. LSU for formation, receivers on both sides. Uh, Ridley in the backfield with Jefferson. Actually, that was the pistol. Jefferson, play action fake, rolls to the near side and fires away, and it is dropped right off of the fingertips into the hands of Reuben Randall, and he didn't catch for the first down. Receivers both sides. Ridley, the lone running back. Jefferson under center, play action fake, deep drop to throw, looking and firing, and it is incomplete the direction of Reuben Randall and knocked away by Hayward it gets down to five there's the snap here comes the rush Jefferson throws and it is caught and that's a first down Randall still running breaking tackers going to the outside and it's down to the Vanderbilt 38 yard line with Jared Lee waiting on the snap and there it is and he fires and it is caught right up the middle this is uh, Randall and he slips one tackle and has a first down up to the 36 yard line did that look good or what 17 yards on the play. Still waiting on the ball. Now he finally has it, throws across the way. It is complete by, by uh, down to the 25-yard line to Randall. In formation, Ruben Randall was split out as a flanker to the left, and he ran just a short post pattern. And I think what they were trying to do is to be sure that there was just single coverage out there where the corner... And they set up in the shotgun. There's a snap. Jefferson rolls to the far side, wants to throw and does, and it is caught by Randall, and he has run out of bounds. After about a five-yard gain, waiting on the snap, and there it is. Short drop to throw. Long wait. He does fire it. It is caught by Randall. 25-20. He cuts back up to the 19-yard line, and the Tigers are in the camp of the one red zone, and they free safety. 19 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. And nice job by Randall to simply recognize the defense had been stretched, and there was a big gap in it over on the sideline. He just settled down in it to wait for the pass. First right and one left. Blue back there with Jefferson. Pass near side complete to Randall. Looking for some place to go and there's not any. I mean, Mississippi State knew that was coming. No place to go. And a gain on the play of about two yards to bring up second down and eight, maybe close to seven. As it is spotted just inside the 17-yard line. Hash marks to the near side of the field. 5.38 to go in the third. Third down, they need the 35. Pass thrown complete. Got the first down and more. That's Randall. Reuben Randall, and I wondered when they were going to get the ball to him. He is uh, only a sophomore out of Bastrop, Louisiana. And a huge cushion. Good read by the quarterback. He saw the cushion being given by Broderick Jenkins. Athlete at 6'5", playing the safety spot. Pass over the middle, and it's caught at the 45 Randall again but it's pass coming back toward the middle gonna have the first down that's Randall Ruben Randall do his fall forward they're gonna run Shepard off Randall comes in good physical contact In college football you can make contact number 10 in at wide receiver Looking back over the middle, throws it complete. That's Randall, and good job defense. Clock with nine minutes and five seconds left. Here comes pressure. Good call defensively, and the ball underthrown because he had to rush. Ruben Randall, the intended receiver. Seven nothing LSU, and a quarterback change early. Jarrett Lee is in. That's three straight passes. It's all pitch and catch. Ruben Randall slides by a tackle, spins out of another to the 26-yard line. Those are high, Steve, you know this, those are high percentage passes. And, and great first down calls because you're in a position to dictate Jarrett Lee getting the ball out of there quick, getting the ball in his playmaker's hands right there. Reuben Randall showing his athletic ability, spinning. 83 yards by Jefferson. He's on the sideline. Lee now leads the way, pedals back, throws it deep. Got a man, just overshoots him inside the 10-yard line. And he was looking for Reuben Randall. Not on that play, of course. Second down 20 as Jared Lee stands up in the pocket all day to throw. Swing shot to midfield. 
It was caught and then dropped. Just take it one play at a time. High formation. Here steps back. Pumps once, twice, goes for the deep ball. This. He beats him off the line of scrimmage right now. It's over if the quarterback can put it out in front of him. And Jarrett Lee in there at the right time. He stands strong. And they've got three yards to get to cover. Guns Lee sets up a pass over the top. Caught at the 44-yard line. Ruben Randall. Well, Ruben Randall's been the guy stepping up today. Good job by Jarrett Lee. A little bit of time waiting for Randall to come across the field. It was pretty darn good coverage on that play. I'll tell you what, it had to, he put it where he had to. Art Evans was right there to mount down near the end zone, taking a one-on-one -on -one shot. Didn't pay off. Lee on the rollout. Throws far side line. Caught, stacked up to the 50. Ruben Randall running in Baton Rouge. Lee, shotgun. Look to the end zone, steps up, throws. Incomplete out of the end zone. There's a flag. Hey, you got it. Yep, there was a flag. Randall was tied up. Pass interference. Number 10, defense. Teague it is. Foul third in the end zone. Ball be placed at the two-yard line. First down. And Marsalis Teague doesn't know why, but you see that left arm right there. He's He's got it on the hip. And, of course, Derek Dewey is not going to like that, and I'll tell you, it was not a blatant pass interference, but... Double pumps and then overthrows the intended target, Ruben Randall. Third and 12. Jefferson, here comes pressure. Intercepted! Jelani Jenkins takes it all the way back. Florida leads the country in interceptions. That's their 13th. Here's the interceptor. Jordan Jefferson never sees him. All he's looking at is his man crossing the field. He knows pressure's coming. He never saw Jenkins, and he threw it right into his chest. Springing to the near side. Randall hauls it in. Cuts back to midfield. A first down and looking for more. Settles in at the 46. Ruben Randall. And this is all because of Jordan Jefferson's ability to get outside of the pocket by design, keep his eyes downfield, and keep a play alive. I mean, he could only throw to one side of the field, and Randall was able to stay with it and separate from his man and get the catch. Jefferson just lofted it in for a 29. Pulls it back from Shepard. Play action. It's going to go downfield looking for Ruben again. And that was almost picked off by Janoris Jenkins. That ball too far inside. And Janoris Jenkins came from the safety position and almost was there for the interception. Jeremy Brown was with. Murphy back there. Split back shotgun formation. Jefferson rolls right. Wants to throw. Cox and fires. He's got his man. And that is Randall slipping one tackle and then they got out of the eye formation. Receivers both sides, short drop and a pass across the way. Complete to Randall. He's down short of the first down. It'll bring up third. If the quarterback's going to jump that route, he cannot cover the deep route off of it. And Randall runs it very well. Washington made left. Shotgun formation. There's a snap. Jefferson short drop to throw. Looking, looking. He throws. And oh my gosh, it's intercepted. Randall should have caught it, and he didn't, and Auburn picks it off down the far sideline round, and they have it first and ten in LSU territory, unless they say he stepped out of bounds. He did at the Auburn 46. That is unfortunate, and that is not Jefferson's fault. Well, not Jefferson's fault. Stampley is the fullback. Pass near side complete to Randall. 40-45, and still on his feet up to about the 47-yard line, and the Tigers have the first down. Now he's back under. There's a snap, short drop, throws, and it is complete on the far sideline to Reuben Randall, and he goes out of bounds in Auburn's noise. There's a snap. Lee wants to throw, and he does. Way downfield, and it is incomplete. It should have been intercepted, as a matter of fact. 
Picks up again. I think Randall did a good job of doing his best to make sure it didn't get intercepted. He bumped the defender. Cards for Jefferson. Three receivers right. There's the snap. Jefferson rolls right. Cox and fires and threw it out of bounds on the far sidelines in the direction of Randall. Two receivers left and one right. Snap to Jefferson. Toss near side. Now Ware is going to throw it, and he's got Randall down there. If he can get it to him, and he has got it, and he scores! How about that? It's on the third quarter. LSU pulls off an incredible play here in the fourth quarter, and we are tied at 17 with 12-16 to go in the game. Hang on to your hats. This is just another typical LSU-Auburn ball game on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Lee under center. Straight drop to throw. Does throw. Caught by Randall. And there's four guys over there. He had no protection. He caught it. Gained about five yards. They get into a regular shotgun. There's a snap to Jefferson. He drops to throw. Looks deep. Throws it way downfield. And Randall can't catch it. Just off his fingertips around the 22-yard uh, line. Now, that was a well-thrown pass. And one that uh, Randall maybe should have caught. He should have caught. He had it in his hands. Look, I, you know, Randall is a good receiver, or at least he was. He is capable of... Jefferson under center, first and 10 Tigers, just short of the 25. Straight back, Jefferson in the pocket, throws, and it is caught wide open, midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10-foot race, Randall, he's in for the score! 75 yards himself for the drop pass at the end of the first half uh, that time he ran a deep post coming across they had run the safety out of there the pass was thrown he reached up caught it just perfectly in his hands and sprinted to the corner of the end zone for the touchdown and bingo LSU ahead 9-3 one of the bigger nine offensive seven. plays of the year for LSU now Ware sets up in the slot or that is uh, Murphy Jefferson rolls to the near side. He's in trouble and throws. It's caught and knocked out of bounds. Four, maybe five at the 34-yard line. He was knocked out of bounds on the near side of the field. So Reuben Randall once again showing the kind of hands he has. Uh, it's uncharacteristic of him. Okay, waiting on the snap, and there it is. He rolls to the far side. He's looking. He throws. It's caught cut for two right on the money to Reuben Randall, and the Tigers convert. That's, that's a perfect play for Jordan Jefferson. Left hash mark. He rolls out to the right. He's got trip receivers on the right side. Reuben Randall. Uh, Alabama's last timeout. They still show one on the board. It's third down, the biggest play of the game so far right now. Shotgun formation, three receivers left. Lee back to throw. Steps up in the pocket, and he throws way downfield. Randall has got it. 45. He's at the 40. Still on his feet. Goes to the outside. 35. He's still on his feet. Still running. Falls down at the Alabama 34-yard line. What a strike by Jared Lee. 47 yards, and a flag goes down. And there's a flag thrown at the very end of the play. It may have been even after the tackle. I'm not sure. An outstanding pass by Jared Lee on that play. Wow, Alabama gambled play. that they wanted to make the big play. Reuben Randall came open down the left side. Jared Lee sidestepped the rush. Alab LSU's laid backing the ball up, up and, uh, a 92-45% conversion rate on third down. There's a snap to Lee on third down. He fires way downfield. He's got a man open, and he uh, did not catch it. Well, it was Randall out there. The pass was perfectly thrown into play. Great defensive play because the ball was thrown and it got over the defenders. Randall had it coming down in his hands and one of the defenders coming over. I don't know about that now. I, I, I don't know about that. Let's uh, go on third down. There's a snap. He wants to throw and he does and it is caught by no. It's dropped by Randall and the, got inside of the cornerback, but he had a safety coming right over there, drawing a beat on him, and the ball was thrown right where the safety was intersecting where Randall's path was and the see Jared Lee is in a quarterback now man he play action fake drops back to throw way downfield he's got Reuben Randall down there and he can't get it a little bit and uh, batted away by the safety Newsom and Randall comes off limping a little bit uh, and he w he had beaten the defender off the left side run a post pattern got behind him the ball was thrown a little short and Randall looked like he can't
Jefferson deep. Oh, he's got it. Look at Randall. How about that? Jeremy McKee had perfect position. Randall, watch him. Wonderful. Did he nudge him a bit? Out of bounds kick. LSU gets it at the 40. Jefferson drills it up to the right side. Pass complete for a first down. This is Ruben Randall, his second catch. And on first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Under center, Jefferson again. Throws a dart, hot slant, caught, and dropped is Ruben Randall. With a new set of downs from the 39-yard line. Jefferson looking left. He throws. And the catch is made by Ruben Randall. Stays on his feet and takes it out to the 48-yard line. Third down and seven for the LSU Tigers. Off the play fake. Jefferson fires downfield. And it is picked off by Judy. Coriel Judy. That should clear up some college rules. Coriel Judy's going to intercept this ball outside the five-yard line. That means momentum does not come into play. Return to the Aggies, and what a year it has been. Jefferson on third down, and the pass is caught for a first down by Ruben Randall. Takes it out. For the, this run fits. He got caught inside a little bit on that one. On second and four, Jefferson fires downfield. Ruben Randall was wide open, but Jefferson overthrew him. Third and four upcoming for the Tigers. Opportunity for a big play right here. This is just going to be a vertical route right down the seam. Trent Hunter turns his back, goes to the other direction. Jordan Jefferson missed.